Aloha, my name is Megan. I'm here at Body Alive Yoga in Maui, Hawaii. And today I'm here to bring you the first in our beautiful booty workout series. So this is gonna be one workout a week for the month of October. And it is meant to be a sequence that stands alone as a workout or as a great bundle of exercises but that can be strung together for a really awesome booty workout. So we're gonna to start today with five different exercises that are a really great way to warm up your gluteal group. So there's three muscles that make up the gluteal group or the booty group. Um, your gluteus maximus, gluteus medius, and gluteus minimus. So these are three muscle groups and they all contribute to the stability of your pelvis which helps to set your spine in a safe position and the gluteal group is super important for generating the power for your legs and so there's a lot of reasons why the glutes are really important and they're really large so they're calorically hungry so they burn a lot of calories when you work them. So, so many reasons why it's awesome to work your glutes but really important from your functional strengths. They are so important for the stability of your pelvis that they're a really important muscle group to keep strong and a really important muscle group to keep flexible. So these exercises are gonna take you through a full range of motion and help to move you in many different directions, which contributes to a really balanced quality between strength and flexibility. So you get the range of motion, you get a functional strength through the full range of motion, and you're getting flexibility because you're moving in a full range, as full as it is for you. So we're not all going to be the same, thankfully, we're not all the same, that's really good actually. But um, So we are you know, working within our comfortable range. So you want to use your breath as a guideline of how you can kind of keep it strong and steady, but if you ever lose your breath or it's too short, you just back off a little bit, go a little slower, you don't have to go as fast as your friend or you know as fast as you did yesterday but really kind of pacing yourself but challenging yourself at the same time so it's kind of a fine balance and so as we do that we want to stay in our pain-free range of motion so if anything is causing you discomfort try to make the movement smaller maybe that will help to remove the discomfort if you still have it let me know send me a message and hopefully I can offer some suggestions so what we're gonna do is start on our hands and our knees so I like to use a blanket or a towel just to keep some cushion underneath my knees. You don't have to do that. So what we're gonna do is set up so that we're in a tabletop position. Our shoulders are on top of our elbows, our elbows are on top of our wrists. So we're gonna place our knees underneath our hips and just get into our breath. So you wanna make sure your wrist creases are parallel and your middle fingers are pointing forward. Bring the weight to the inner edge of your hand. So as we remember that as we press into the inner edge, it helps to activate the muscles right from your chest all the way down your arms, so you're nice and sturdy. So we're gonna get into our breath a little bit, which will help wake up our belly. So we're gonna inhale, relax, exhale, engage. So what you're doing is tilting your pelvis. You're moving into an arch position and then a rounded position. So really pull up your belly. Hear my exhale, it's strong. So what we're gonna do today are five different exercises. You're gonna do 20 repetitions. And so for the last few of this one, you're gonna inhale and arch, take it into a cat and cow just to mobilize your spine a little bit more. So there's five exercises. You're gonna do 20 repetitions. That counts as one round. So we're gonna do the first ones on our hands and knees. And I'll show you, I'm only gonna do five in the interest of time, but you're gonna do 20. So you're gonna take a breath, engage your tummy, and go into a hip extension, or a donkey kick. Notice my heel is pressing back, my foot is flexed. So your heel is a direct line to your glute. So you wanna kick back through your heel, make a powerful action. So you're gonna take it into 20 of those, and then you're gonna do a leg lift. You lift your leg, high enough that you feel your glute engage, but not so high that you feel uncomfortable or short in your lower back. So you're gonna do 20 of those, and then you're gonna take it to the top of the range of motion, engage your tummy, push your hands, and pulse. <laughs> Say I did 20. Now you're gonna turn your toes out to the side without letting your hip come up too high. So you wanna to try to keep your hip pretty low. So you externally rotate, turn away from the middle of your body, re-engage your tummy, lift. Still pressing out through your heel, and now you've turned your toes to the side. So you're engaging more of your gluteus minimus, 
and medius. So we've turned, we've externally rotated. So you can do five of those, and then you're gonna bring your knee in, kick it back. Now we're working all three because we're doing a hip extension and we've externally rotated. So we're getting lots of booty busting action going on. So we're gonna do 20, and then we're gonna do the other side, same sequence. So as we do the second round, you might wanna make it a little more challenging, in which case, I'll just show you this side, balance me out a little bit too. Um, you can do it from your high plank. Great for engaging your arms and shoulder girdle. So you can try it from your high plank. So you set up the same way. Again, if your wrists are tired, you can do it from your elbows. So you're doing still in the plank position, but you are um, on your forearm plank. So same exercises, five exercises, engaging your belly for the donkey kick. We do five of those, and then we do our leg raises. Stay at the top, do our leg pulses. Stay at the top, turn it out. Full range of motion. Last one, so you keep the non-moving leg nice and strong and bring it in. See, my toes are still turned out. Five, oops, I mean 20, you're gonna do 20. I get to do five. Awesome. So you're gonna do three rounds. Great way to stretch out your booty is to rest in balasana or child's pose. And then even swoosh your hips around a little bit side to side. So that is the first in our beautiful booty workout series. Hopefully it's really awesome and a great warm up for you. And definitely got my heart pumping, so that's cool. Um, <laughs> and if you have any questions or anything, please feel free to let me know. And look forward to seeing our next beautiful booty workout next Friday. Aloha, namaste, see you soon.